there's a lot of resellers who source their inventory off eBay. Well, I sell off eBay, okay? And sometimes I sell to the inline consumer, which is the majority of the time. And sometimes I sell to a reseller. Now, here's the deal. If you want to lowball me and give me some ridiculously low price because you want to sell it and make money, I'm just going to block you. I don't have time for you, okay? I know what the market value is of prices and what they're worth, and I'm not interested. Now, there are some good resellers that don't do that, and I sell to them. And people that understand, look, you know, I'm not going to make as much profit, but hey, I could make some. And you know what? I can... I can focus on volume instead of how much profit I can make per item. I like those. I will make less to sell to them, to help them, and to move more volume for myself. I don't mind that. But the low balling so you can make a profit at my expense, no thanks. I'm not interested in that. I'm not doing that. These are. This is the difference between thinking short term and thinking long term. Okay. The short term thinker thinks, I'm just gonna make as much as I can, ruthless. And long-term thinking thinks, I'm gonna be generous, make less, give more, and have a relationship with the person. I have so many people that I buy from locally, where I sell stuff on eBay, I buy locally, that used to sell to a bunch of people and now only sell to me. Why? Because I'm generous with my offers. Because I pay them more than other people they would sell to. So they want to sell to me. So I get all the stuff. I make less, but I make more in volume. And I get all the business that I otherwise wouldn't have. Well, I have the same focus and mindset and disposition when I'm selling on eBay. If I get a message from somebody with some ridiculous offer, no, I'm not interested. I'm not even gonna discuss that. Listen, it's not a mystery what products should and shouldn't be selling for. All this data that's available, it's absurd. And so, if someone makes a reasonable offer, sure, I'll do it. I'll do it, I'll bless them, you know? If, if it, I don't know, let's say I'm selling an item for $230 and somebody sends me an offer for 160, no. I'm, I'm not taking offers, get away, get away from me. You know, if I'm selling something for 230 and they're like, hey, could you do 220? Sure, yeah, it's fine. It's reasonable. 10% less, sure. That's like 5%, you know? Very reasonable, you know? Uh, or, or you know, maybe maybe someone says, hey, if, if I buy three of these, you think you can discount it? And I'll say, well, what's your zip code? You know, what's your zip code? Let me see. Let me see if I put three together, what my shipping looks like, and uh, may, maybe I can discount it a little bit and help them out. Absolutely. I'm totally willing to do that, and I don't even need to have any other profit. I'll give all that shipping savings over to them and bless them so that so that I can move three items faster. I, that's totally fine, you know? But I usually say to someone um, that lowballs me, I'm just like, I'm not taking offers. If someone sends something that's way too low, but it's not crazy low, I might take an extra minute and say something to them like, Hey, look, um, not taking offers. I mean, the price is already low and it includes free shipping, you know? Um, I might say something like that, but but I, I would just, I just, I think too many people selling on eBay don't get the full value of their items. And I, I think they waste too much time with offers. I think offers on eBay is absurd. I just think it's a ridiculous waste of time. It's not scalable, you know? I mean, you're gonna overprice your item so that you can then go down on your item, and you're gonna do what? You're gonna go back and forth with people on, on negotiating the price of what? Of a thrift store jacket? I mean, this is so silly, right? I mean, you're gonna scale that up to what? 1,500 items in your store? You're gonna deal with what? 20, 30 offers a day, you're gonna waste so much time. I don't do offers. I think it's a total waste of time. I think you should analyze what the price is, list it at the price, and instead of spending your day on offers, spend your day going to get more inventory and selling more stuff, you know? I list it, forget it, you know? 
I'll check in, see what's going on, see how long it's been, if I need to adjust something in the listing or whatever. But I'm not gonna waste time on offers, you know? Like, oh, I wanna sell this item for 20, so let's see, I'll list it at 25, and then they'll say 15, and then I'll say 20, and you're wasting time, what are you doing? Just list it, move on, get more inventory, sell more stuff, you know? All right, I gotta go.